This is a 1972 VW Super Beetle convertible. And this is the last year of the flat windshield Beetle. And this thing is really, really cool. We decided to do a two-tone paint on it. It was actually originally red when we got it in the shop. And we decided to keep the side panels red and give it kind of a Cali, Cali Cruiser. I've touched the key on the second go round. She fires right up. There we go. <laughs> That's a Beetle for you. It, uh, the engine's uh, got a, uh, every evidence of being a recent rebuild. Runs great. It's got a good clutch in it. Shifts through the gears nicely. Speedometer works. Fuel gauge works. Horn works, turn signals, brake lights. Everything, uh, everything electrical works on it. Okay, maybe not the, uh, maybe not the windshield wipers. Maybe they're not working. I know the radio is not working. It's an older radio. So I put a new CD player in it. There's some kick panel speakers in here. Mechanically, from bumper to bumper, this car is in great shape. The front end's really good on it. It's got a great running engine. Drives down the road straight and smooth. My buddy Clinton over at Moon Engineering, he's a Beetle guy. He does air-cooled Volkswagens and Porsches. And uh, I always, whenever we get a Beetle in, I always have him come over and go through it bumper to bumper, make sure the lights work and turn signals, brake lights. Uh, in fact, I'm, I was surprised to, just now to pull the uh, wiper switch and find them not working. We'll see if we can diagnose that before we sell it, but uh, it's probably something pretty simple. Obviously, the selling point on this car is it looks really awesome. It's just got a Cal California cruising buggy look to it. A lot of times you see this done in a hard top where the whole car is black and then the sides are red or the whole car is white and the sides are blue kind of all that kind of style and that's what we modeled this after but i wanted to see it done in a convertible uh, which is pretty rare it's got uh porta walls on it that are brand new um it's the it's the uh fakie fakie uh white wall tires so they're actually just standard tires and then they got the little fakie white wall on them they look really awesome and it's a really great way to add a cool look to the boat, the Beetle without spending a ton of money on true white walls. So you could still get the radial ride with the white wall look. It's actually got the hubcaps on it uh, that are chrome and then behind it's actually got a cap that goes over the wheel. It's like a wheel copy cap. And we actually painted those with a uh, single stage uh, red to match the side. And it just really sets this car off. The interior of the car is in great shape. Doors open and close like they should. Windows roll up and down very nicely. The dash is in great shape. Like I said, the radio does not work. And I would just put a newer CD player in it. And uh, some kick panel speakers are really put out a good sound. The seats are good. No rips or tears. Carpet kit is in good shape. It's a great driver. It's got all the seat belts in it. Four, two in the back, two in the front. Top goes up and down smoothly. Nah, we don't need to put the top up. I, I took pictures of it with the top up so you can see what that looks like and it um, looks really good. The underneath of the car is solid. It's also got disc brakes and I had forgotten about that. Now I'm laying down here seeing it. Good solid frame. Uh, of course, these are unibody cars, but the frame part of the car is rust free and a lot of guys are looking for that. Making sure that, that pe there's no rust on the frame at all. The frame, you know, which is the main part of the unibody. Now it's got a couple of uh, hodgepodge floor panel repairs in the back. We can see some old rust there and then they put a floor panel in from the top. So it looks a little rusty. It's actually really solid. Just not very, the, just not the cleanest job. So if you were gonna do any projecting on this car, that's honestly probably about the only thing, aside from putting a stereo in it, if you want to put a new floor pan in it, because that, you know, just 
that's something that you feel like is really important to you. It's not important to me on a car like this. This is not a show car. Although I think you could show and go in this thing. People would just love it, but it's not a show car. It's not a hundred point car. This is a driver. This is a car. This is a car that you would keep in the garage for us. When we keep a car like this in our garage, I have a 76 Beetle and we just drive it almost every day. I've got a 16 year old daughter. It's, it's really her car. And I've actually been tempted to keep this one because I think it just looks so cool. But like I said, not a show car, so I don't care. I'm not going to have a judge up underneath the car telling me that my floor pans didn't get installed very nicely. Other than that, the body's straight. There's no rust on it. The trunk opens and closes like it should. It's very clean underneath there. And uh, that's it. Not much else to say. The car speaks for itself. It's just a super cool looking Kind of a Cali Cruiser, Rat Rod, Hot Rod, 72 flat windshield Super Beetle, and it's ready to rock and roll. It's in mechanically great shape, brakes work great, it drives great, it needs tunes, and other than that, it needs nothing. Somebody's going to have a great time in this car.